What is going on guys, Bailey here, and welcome back to another Saints Row video, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today, I wanted to discuss something that has me extremely concerned about the new Saints Row, which is releasing later this year in August. It's something that has been confirmed by Volition, and has been highlighted by other Saints Row content creators in their own videos, but... I wish to emphasize this point further. What I am talking about exactly is the amount of main story missions that will be in Saints Row. There are said to be only 25 main story missions, excluding side missions and criminal ventures. So in today's video, I'll be discussing why Saints Row having only 25 main story missions is very worrying. So I hope you do enjoy this video guys and if you do, don't forget to leave a like and be sure to subscribe to see more Sintro videos from me in the future. So let's get into these details. So onto the big elephant in the room, as I've mentioned and I will say it again, the new Sintro that is releasing later this year in August is said to have only 25 main story missions. To give you a better idea and comparison as to why that number of missions is very worrying, well, the total number of main story missions in Sintro 2 is 42, and in Sintro the third, the total number of main story missions is 47. However, some of the 47 story missions in Sintro the third were just reused and reskinned side activities, so, some of them don't really count. This Saints Row having only 25 missions is a huge red flag to me and the biggest worry I have with the game. Sure, there are other worries I have with Saints Row, such as it being incomplete and buggy when it releases, but they're just general concerns I have with every AAA title that releases in today's times. The reason for my worry about this game having such a limited amount of missions is I believe that the game's narrative and storytelling experience will suffer significantly because of this. The game's narrative won't truly and fully explore all these new characters and I don't think also the players will truly get to know them and understand them properly for what they were designed and written to be. From what we have seen and heard, there's a lot happening in this new Sintro. It's a fresh start on the story of the Third Street Saints. There are new lieutenants, new gangs, a new city, and so much more, that I think it would be incredibly difficult for Volition to cram all of this narrative into 25 main story missions. Take a look at Saint Row 2, for example, where we were introduced to new lieutenants such as Pierce, Carlos, and Shandy, and they were all given an equal amount of screen and story time. Yes, Carlos did die at a midpoint of the game, but he did get to experience the startup of the Third Street Saints with him, which gave him similar screen and story time to Pierce and Shandy. Eli, Nina and Kevin probably won't have their moments to shine like how Pierce, Carlos and Shandy had, which would be disappointing. I appreciate too that we probably won't get fantastic characters like Carlos, Johnny, Julian or even old school Pierce and Shandy, but I would have been grateful for the effort that Volition were willing to take to flesh out these characters and to pump the game with more story missions. This Saints Row is a reboot to hopefully reignite the lost flame from the downfall of the series and it would appear that Volition won't have the opportunity to capitalize effectively on this reboot. You could argue the case and say that these 25 missions could be longer than others and I most definitely agree with you. However, we have seen footage and heard about some of the story missions, and they all sound and look fairly the right duration for how long a story mission should last. None of them really sound too long. The game could have three to five longer story missions, which could give it an extra 10 minutes of gameplay, but it doesn't justify how short this game's story will be in the grand scheme of matters. Maybe Volition didn't want to have too many story missions because they wanted to promote all of the free roam features and side activities available to the player in Santa Aleso. Additionally, Volition may want to give the game a huge replayability factor, which I was planning to do already. But knowing now the amount of story missions 
makes me now want to replay the game a few times with all different characters. It could even be that later on in the game that there are huge choices that also the players will have to make that impact the direction of the story, which would give us different types of missions before completing the game. But then again, it's been said there are a total of 25 story missions, so I would assume that consists of all missions, regardless of choices made in the game, if there even is any. With all that being said, I do hope that this Saints Row is successful. I even hope that Volition proves me wrong and that the 25 main story missions was the right amount to have in this Saints Row. I honestly do not wish for this game to fail, as this is probably Volition's last chance of continuing the Saints Row franchise in the right way. The reason for this discussion and video is not to make you start hating on this game or show any negativity towards it, but it's to make sure you are all informed and you are not disappointed when the game releases. However, from what we've seen, this game seems like it's going to be so much fun outside of the story. There's so much to do and see in Santa Aleso, which will keep us busy for many hours. So what do you think of this Saints Row having only 25 main story missions? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts and to get a nice discussion going, which I'll be sure to jump in on. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Also, if you do enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. If you want to continue discussing Saints Row with other people who enjoy this game just as much, be sure to join my Discord community where there is a link in the description to join. Also, don't forget that you can check me out streaming over on Twitch during the week and you can find a link to my channel in the description box down below too. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.